Hi, I'm Tony Bowen and welcome to my Corn Country Rails. Well, this is an estate update. Um, I reported earlier in the month of January that I had taken on an estate collection and that had sold or has sold very well. I have about 43 pieces left in that original um, list that went out right after the 1st of January. Well, since then, a second wave of items have come to be part of the estate and I have it inventoried and I have just added it to the spreadsheet. And so if you are somebody that missed out on a few of the items that you were thinking, hey, I'd like some of that. And by the time you contacted me, some of those items that went quick, well, here's your chance. I have all the Steam Era cars, there are none. But if you are a modern era modeler, um, this might be for you. There are no auto racks. I know that there were about 14 auto racks in the first round that I sent out and those went quickly. The bath guns, those sold out quickly. Um, so those are gone. I don't have any of those. However, in this round, there are some well cars that um, there's a couple singles, there's a couple five packs, and then there's also um, some threes units of threes. Um, and so if you're interested, please just send me an email. I will send you the updated list. Also, if you are in the Eastern Iowa, Western Illinois, Southern Wisconsin area, um, I will also post the two train shows that are coming up that I will be going to. Uh, the first one will be on the 3rd and 4th of February in Monticello, Iowa. And then there will be one in March, on March 2nd, in Dubuque, Iowa. Those are two of the train shows I'll be going to. So I will still be sending out things via mail, but in about 10 days from now, I'm going to take these items to the train show. After that train show, what I have now, there may be some still left, there might be all of it left, or I may have nothing left. Um, some of the boxes beside me or a second collection that I have of some American Flyer stuff. I didn't even get the inventory and that sent out before somebody had went ahead and bought all of it. So if you were somebody that are going to any of those shows, the Monticello show or the Dubuque show, and you see something that you would like, I'll be glad to hang on to it for you and you can pick it up there. The only thing I do ask is that maybe you put a little money towards it um, because I have had a few people that have said, oh, I want all of this stuff. And I'll be like, sure, I'll take it to the Monticello show, but I'd like you to pay a little up front. And then they ghost me, and I hear nothing from them. So I've reached out to people like that and have said, okay, I, I want to work with you here. And when I don't hear anything back from them after about a two-week period, I put it back in the inventory. And so the same would be true that if you have me hold something and I'm bringing it to a show for you, and you contact me and say, hey, you know, road conditions or family emergency or something like came up, great. We can work out a way that I can send it to you. But I really would like to have maybe just a little bit of money that kind of has some some value, some earnest um, value that I'm holding this item for you because you have an interest in it. And when you send me an email saying you're interested in it and then I don't hear from you and then I have a bunch of other buyers interested in it, I'm trying to do a honor system here of holding it for you and if you're not going to follow through with it then I go to that next buyer and I had that exact thing happen with somebody in this last wave of things that wanted all the beer cars that were listed and when I worked up the price and had all the beer cars I never heard from that person and so they went out and somebody else who was second on my list that was interested in them they're the ones that when I contacted them asked if they were still interested they got them. So please just, you know, if you're interested in something, great. Keep that communication open. When you ghost me and you stop communication and we're trying to settle up on the payments, yeah, then I'm not going to chase you around when I have a bunch of other people interested in the stuff. After a couple weeks, I'm going to drop you and I'm moving on to the next buyer. Sorry, I'm not a hobby shop that I'm going to sit on this inventory because I'm trying to sell it for an estate. That's my part as a broker, okay? So I hope you understand that. 
Same is true if I'm doing mail orders. I'm only mailing things out on Saturdays. Um, my teaching schedule of second grade and our post office hours do not work. And so Saturday mornings are the best time for me to get the post office, drop everything off. Now, during the weekdays and the evenings, hey, I'll be packing up those boxes. I'll be getting stuff ready to go so that come Saturday morning, things are good to go. Okay? And also, I had a few people reach out to me about the postal rates. I'm sorry. The postal rates went up. So a flat rate box like these with a hundred dollars of insurance on it no matter what the weight is ships for $22.80 that's just how it is the smaller box is $17.10 and then the smaller boxes are obviously cheaper so if you've got a problem with the shipping I'm sorry don't take it up with me I'm not the one that sets the rates the post office does but this is how I mail it okay all right so I've included some videos of the items that I have. If you're interested, like I said, please send me your email. I will send you the updated list. So thank you again for watching, and I hope to see some of you at the Monticello train show coming up or at the Dubuque show in March. Take care for now, everybody. Bye-bye.